Welcome to Quantum Paradox, the podcast that brings the weird, the wondrous, and the deeply mysterious world of quantum physics to your headphones. I'm your host, and today we're diving into one of the most baffling truths of our universe. Why does a photon, a particle of light, explore all possible paths when no one is watching, but only takes one path when we are? This isn't philosophy, it's physics, and it's been confirmed in labs again and again. Let's start with the experiment that shook the foundations of reality, the double slit experiment. Imagine a simple setup. You shine a beam of light at a barrier with two slits cut into it. Behind that barrier is a screen that records where the light hits. Now, if light were simply a stream of particles, you'd expect to see two bands behind the slits. One band of light for each slit, like throwing marbles through a pair of gates. But that's not what happens. Instead, you see interference, a pattern of bright and dark bands just like ripples in water that overlap and cancel out. This means the photon doesn't go through just one slit. It behaves like a wave and goes through both. In fact, it behaves as if it goes through every path possible, all at once. But here's where things get spooky. Put a detector near one of the slits, just to see which slit the photon goes through. Not to touch it, not to block it, just to watch. And suddenly, the interference pattern disappears. Now you only see two bands, just like the marbles, as if the photon somehow knew it was being watched. What happened? The moment you observe the photon, it stops taking all possible paths. It chooses one. This phenomenon is known as the collapse of the wave function. When unobserved, the photon exists in a superposition, a blur of probabilities. It's not here or there. It's everywhere it could be. But once we look, that magical uncertainty collapses. The photon picks a path, and in doing so, the universe makes a decision. This leads to a haunting question. What is the role of the observer? Does reality depend on being seen? In the famous words of physicist John Wheeler, no phenomenon is a real phenomenon until it is an observed phenomenon. And then there's the many worlds interpretation. What if the photon takes all paths in parallel universes. What if in some branch of the multiverse it went left and in another it went right? Are we just passengers on the track where the photon picked one path while infinite other tracks play out unseen?
there's a term for this, quantum decoherence. It's how the fuzzy, probabilistic world of the small becomes the definite world we see. When we measure the photon, we entangle it with ourselves, with our detectors, our brains, our reality. And that act of entanglement forces the system to settle into one outcome. To lift the energy slightly. But don't be fooled, this isn't just theory. Quantum computers rely on this very behavior. They run calculations across many possibilities at once until measurement forces a single answer. And understanding how observation changes quantum behavior may one day unlock teleportation, secure quantum communication, or even quantum simulations of the universe itself. So the next time you turn on a light, remember that photon isn't just flying through the air. In the shadowy math of quantum mechanics, it's weaving through a web of all possible paths until your eyes or your instruments collapse its story into one. And maybe, just maybe, you're doing more than watching. You're shaping the outcome. Thanks for joining me on Quantum Paradox. Until next time, stay curious.